Hello everyone, and welcome to the Bachata Rockstar Hearthstone stream. I've been on a bit of a vacation slash hiatus for a while. Um, but I'm back, and I'm really excited. Ready to play what I think is a really, really awesome deck. <clears throat> uh, can't take credit for the, init for the initial idea, but uh, I think the construction has gone pretty well. I've been tweaking it. I played a bunch of games with it already, and actually went up a bunch of ranks with it, so I'm very excited. It is the Egg Paladin. So, kind of nuts. We've got two abusive sergeants, two argent squires. Seems fairly simple. Sort of an aggro paladin, right? Well, guess what? Two dragon eggs and two runic eggs. Then we also have lance carriers. So if you notice, the abusive squires and the lance carriers buff the dragon eggs. They trade. Then we get value. We either draw a card, we get some more... 2-1 Whelps on the board, followed up with Loot Hoarders, 1 Acolyte of Pain, just for a little bit of card draw. <clears throat> Notice it's the only 3-drop we have, too. Barns, to draw stuff out of the deck, you get a 1-1 one, one Egg, that's great, but you could also get some of the bigger stuff that's coming up. You know, a Loot Hoarder's pretty good, too. Even an Argent Squire ain't bad. 2 Blessing of Kings, to make 4-6 uh, Eggs. Uh, 2 Consecrations, just for board clears. A Defender of Argus, to also buff the Eggs. Keeper of Uldaman to make 3-3 three, three eggs, or make 3-3 three, three, uh, three, three soldiers. Uh, True Sword Champion, always good. Twilight Summoners, they can get buffed, and then they turn into 5-5s, five looking great. Cairn, Sylvanas, Ragnaros the Light Lord, and Tyrion, and of course, with all those Death Rattles, you gotta follow it up with Nazoth the Corruptor. So the crazy part is, you might be like, well, Brian, don't Runic Eggs have Death Rattles? And I'm like, yes, they do. However, when they come back and then they die, you get to draw more cards. So the crazy part is, if you can get an Azad, you can draw four cards with four runic eggs. Um, it works surprisingly well. It's basically a buff paladin. Like, the idea is just get a bunch of stuff on the board, buff it up, and attack. Make relatively good trades as much as you can, but for the most part, we're going face. Um, it plays very similarly to like a zoo deck. Um, and the card draw is made up for it with the Loot Hoarders, the Runic Eggs, the Acolyte of Pain. So you typically end up drawing a large portion of your deck and you start playing bigger and bigger and bigger threats. And the nice part is, is you almost always have a board presence. So even if they do like a board clear, you still get stuff. Either your stuff survives or it death rattles and comes back for something else. Or, in the case of the Runic Eggs and the Loot Hoarders, it refills your hand. So, I'm shocked at how well this deck has been working. Um, it was kind of crazy because, at first, I just I threw in the eggs because I was like, eggs are fun. And I kept thinking I would still have the Nerubian Egg. <laughs> but the Nerubian Egg is out of standard now. So, that kind of sucks. But... It ended up working out. I was just like, what are the really cheap buff stuff that I can get? And so my, my initial idea was just hold the board until I can get the big stuff out. And then I realized, like, with Keeper of Uldaman, I was like, okay, I need to get rid of their big stuff and make it small. But in actuality, what I ended up doing is buffing the eggs most of the time. You know, or buffing the Argent Squire, or buffing even just a 1-1 soldier. So... The deck actually works out pretty good. I mean, it definitely can't get run over, and it can definitely get outvalued by some of the bigger decks. So I'm not saying this is a tier one deck, but what I'm saying is it's far better than it initially looks. <laughs> when you first see it, you're just like, what the hell? So when I started playing this deck, I think I was like rank 10, and now I'm rank six. So it can climb. It can climb. Now, whether it, it's tier one, I can't honestly say right now. I've only played maybe about 40 games with it. And uh, I was like, wow, well, at least the deck is good enough to be put on stream and kind of be put out there for people. So, yeah, I really like it. And um, like I said, initially, you know, the deck, the deck has been coming together. And I'm not sure if this is its final form. I think maybe I want another Defender of Argus in here. But I'm not sure what to take out. Like, it seems pretty streamlined at this point. Uh, and it's been working. So I really, I don't want to tweak it right now. 
Anyway, let's go to the games. Wish me luck. And uh, if you like this deck, by all means, use it. Go for it. It's a fun deck. Uh, okay, so we're playing a hunter, so we definitely need to get on board. I'm going to keep this Consecration for board clears later. I'm going to toss these two things just to try to get some of my earlier game here. Crap. This is my one concern with the deck, it's just there's so many 4-drops. So you really kind of got to wait until... The light protects me. A lot of times I have found myself holding the coin until turn 3 so I can coin 4 into 4. Such and so I've been trying to like play, use my hero power, play the dragon eggs. See like this, like just dumping the dragon eggs out there. That way on turn 3 I can true silver or I can play a twilight summoner or I can keep Rahulduman or I can blessing a kings. Things like that. Like a blessing of kings here would be great. I could trade in the I can trade in my Urgent Squire into the uh, Kindly Grandmother and then trade a 4-6 in and get a 2-1 as well. One start building my board. Like that's that's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna I go face. Fight. Let's keep this up. let's force him to make the initial trade. I don't want to give his 3-2 um, initiative right now. I'd rather it stay that way. Wow! He is kill commanding my egg. That is nice. The better to eat you with. The better to eat you with. <laughs> Alright, true silver, baby. Here we go. For justice. I fight. It's fine with me. He wasted one and a half cards to kill my one mana thing. He's like, you do want to give value to your Tonight, stupid dragons. I'm like, well, it's not that big a deal. Get in there and fight, maggot. Get in there and fight, maggot. Well, I think this is a fairly simple play here. We could consecrate, um, but then that would just kill the one one, so I don't think that's a good idea. I kind of want to preserve the shield. So what I'm thinking is, and this is why we have the Lance Carriers in the deck, we Lance Carrier the 2-2. Well, the See, so now it's a 2-2. Two, two. Bam, we hit in, we get a 2-1, we get value. We make another dude. We swing here. We got a board. You know? Kind of just got to hope he doesn't have... Um, just gotta hope he doesn't have uh, Unleash the Hounds. But if he does that, he'll be playing off curve. Yeah, he'll clear the board, but it's not a huge deal. We do have two Consecrations, which does kind of clog up our hand. It would have been really nice to pick up a Defender of Argus, uh, a Twilight Summoner, even something like a Cairn. Yeah, and now he's Oh, he doesn't Unleash. Wow. Alright, perfect. This is a nice draw. Twilight Summoner, while it doesn't do a lot this of damage... This document looks legally binding. The battle! Right. It's still gonna add to my board presence. Stop poking me! I'm just gonna keep wailing on him. He's been playing I all fight. spells. This is weird. What did Barnes summon? Barnes summoned a... Was it Abusive Soul? There's some sort of crappy 1-1. One -one. Uh, that's what I remember. Alrighty, let's drop some I have no time for games. Let's just keep pounding face. Woo! Yeah, baby. Oh, and we hit the win streak. Let's go. Oh, man. Nice. What sucks, though, win streaks actually don't carry over when you hit level 5. Lame. Mm, brownie face. Apparently you have to win a bunch of games. They really want you to earn that legendary rank. I'm like, dude, just give me a win streak. Man! Man! Let me win! So, versus that's, that's kind of how the deck works. Let the games begin. I will fight with honor. Fairly simple, actually.
it's nice because it's it's straightforward in a sense. Oops, sorry guys, phone's a little loud. Um, you know what? I'm gonna toss one of the eggs because I want to get something to buff the eggs. N not that. And then I get the other egg. All right, let's play the top pack egg. In turn, sorry guys. I quickly fix the uh. Hmm. Stupid mana worm. Plain eggs! <laughs> One of my favorite jokes by uh, Jim Gaffigan. He was talking about Easter. And he was like, Easter, as we all know, is when Jesus rose from the dead. Uh, so how do we celebrate it? How about eggs? Someday I'll be I, just like you! I don't understand what that has to do with Jesus. Okay, well, we'll hide the eggs then. I don't... I don't follow your life. Don't worry, there's a bunny too. Woo! Go team! Get in there and fight, maggot. Alright. We should probably win this game. He just spent a crap ton of resources. <laughs> I'm totally fine with that. Wow. Way to hit nothing. Alright. Fine. Uh, yeah, I think we should go loot hoarder, dude. Just keep making dudes here. That's, that's a fan. So he Kabbalist tombed us. The battle! That's the fine. battle! Uh, I think we just keep playing stuff. Hey, speak to me. I don't really need to buff anything right now. Reporting hey, with you. And he's shot his wad at this point. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Him a five seven, and then if we trade it in, he'd be a five four. But frozen, Let me think. then we could trade that in and kill it, or I could turn this into a three three, then maybe buff something next turn, or I could just play Sylvanas. Hmm, I think I like buffing him and getting a card. The battle. Job's done. Yeah, he's frozen, but we're getting the loot hoarder back, and I think we just we want to out. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, 
Alrighty, let's see. We can Lance Carrier Runic Egg, Keeper of Uldaman. That's not bad. We can Lance Carrier Runic Egg, Blessing of Kings. That's pretty good, too. We can just drop Sylvanas now. Um, I really want to deal think. with this. He's got two random spells and a dude, so I think if we just continue to clear, we should be okay. Uh... Yeah. Alright. Runic Egg's definitely happening. Yeah, I think the best thing will be to Lance Carrier this. <sighs> what you want? Hey, give me that! Draw second to last. Ah! Another Lance Carrier. Okay. Let's move quickly. Um hmm, when did I play this egg? I just played it. Okay. So let's make a Start pushing things here. I don't know what kind of large things he has. He might have um, Antonitis, so I think I want to save the keeper for that. He might have other bigger cards. Okay, that kind of sucked. Now nah, he's refueled. Okay. okay, that's not terrible. Hey, Barnes! Come on, buddy. Tonight, what you got for us? The light protects me. Nice. I'll take that. Um, hmm. Okay, I think we Lance Carrier. <sighs> what you want? Stop poking me! Reporting for duty. Alright. Let's hope he doesn't have a board clear. He might have drawn one with the arcane. I serve the Fire Lord. Wow, he got some really good cool Thanks, Thanks, guys, girl. <sighs> okay, so we need to buff something to get through here. And then we need to buff something to kill that. So I think One. we can go abusive there. there. I fight. Oops, did Stop I that poking I me! Stop poking me! Shit. I did fuck that up. None may steal our seeds. On with the show! How do you do it so I can keep that guy alive? For Don't done. Darn it. I'll oh. move quickly. I should have abusive. Oh, I should have turned one of my dudes into a 3 3. Let's make magic. Let's make magic! I may have to drop Sylvanas just to get something, just to get some fucking power on this board. Huh. None may steal our secrets. I fight. The battle! Stop poking me! Yeah, I kinda just knocked oh. into my house. Guys. Stop poking me! This document looks legally binding. Reporting for duty. I mean, it doesn't play around Flame Strike, but it does play around other smaller AoEs. And, uh, it clears my board state up, too, a little bit. Oh, oh shit! He oaks around. Oh, shit, he gave himself charge? Oh no! That was terrible. The makers. Wow, this is the best locks for all this. Wow. 
It really was like like the best Yacht Squad ever. Not in my house. <laughs> Feel me, feel me. God damn it! I know he's got enough burn to kill me now. Ah, hello there. Fuck, you got lucky, dude. That's not kind of such a shit card. There we go. I lose more to Yogg's around than I do anything else. It's just, it's such a bullshit card. Just saved your like you just you can play bad, you can be way behind all the way, and then just Yogg Saron. Whoops. You got Yogg Saron with charge. Fuck, man. Well, and he fireballed my face. Ugh. Uther, Best Uther, fucking Yogg Saron. God damn. Victory on <sighs> Alright, technically. Technically. Technically, we're 0 and 1. I don't know. Could I have played around Yogg-Saron? Uh, I guess. Somehow. I don't fucking know. Still just reeks of bull crap to me. I think I could have cleared his board less. I think I just could have attacked him. Push the damage more. That's one thing that's tough about this deck, is like you kind of want to clear stuff. But at a certain point, you gotta turn around and face. Mind if I roll knee? Like it's not really a value deck in that sense. I think I think that's where a lot of people make the mistake is they think like it's supposed to be like like value, just like oh slowly but surely kind of push your opponent until they break, sort of thing. Like no, it's not really about that. Hey, it's really more about you, know, you kind of just got to keep pushing this. Like I find myself sometimes holding on to the abusive sergeant a little too long, and maybe just pushing two damage. Is over? No. Hmm. Well, I think we just need to drop the eggs. I think two eggs and a dude. There's no point in keepering that. I really don't want to drop a piece of sergeant right now. And I think I want to save Lance Carrier for the eggs. Mm. So yeah. Because we can keep her one of the eggs, or we can keep her the dude, and then we can hit the Ravaging Ghoul, and then just get a 2-1 and keep going face after that. That's the plan. Still not quite Let sure what kind of warrior this is. And speak to me. Clear here. Hmm, I could abuse of sergeant it. Oh, I can keep her and abuse of sergeant. Okay, I think that's a good play. That's gonna give us the most board presence. None may steal our secrets. Even if he Ravage and Ghouls us here, we'll still have a... Th well, okay, he can Ravage and Ghoul hit that. We'll still have a 3-1 and another 2-1 on board. And if he doesn't, we can push a lot of damage next turn. Actually, he could swing here and then Ravage and Ghoul... Yeah. There's Ravage and Ghoul execute know. problems. Brawl! Wow, okay. This is not a bad time to brawl. The light protects me. Um, I think we can just dude and then maybe Lance Carrier the 3 1. Force him to take some damage if he does. I don't know if that's the best use of our Lance Carrier though. Reporting for duty. Hmm. 
I think it's probably fine. Let's just wait. I mean, obviously you want more board presence, and he's got a lot of cards in his hand, but... I don't see any reason to quite speed up yet. He can set up for some bigger turns next turn. Swing, or is he gonna try to more value? No. Do I want a Sylvanas here? He could execute it. Ugh, I hate playing Sylvanas on an empty board. Hmm. I could just I make a dude keep it. Doesn't seem too bad. I could make a dude and blessing a king's it. But I'd rather have a 5-5 five, five, or a 3-3 three, three, and a 3-4 and lose my keeper. I think I'd rather have a 5-5. Five, five. Reporting for duty. Let's put a threat out there. Maybe he uses an execute. Or some slams or something like that. It's kind of forced them to get this removal out of it. Damn, seven Max, Jesus. Okay, that's fine. At least he takes it. That could have been worse. No, now it's worse. I think we just need to. I have no time for games. Mm, yeah, this deck doesn't do very well against like a control warrior. He's oh. gonna give me a free card draw if he does. Probably drop rag. <laughs> yeah, drop rag so I can steal him. That's fine. Why are you waiting? Yeah, if you execute now, I only steal an acolyte. It's not a big deal. You could probably slam here. Is he gonna wait? Wow, I'd be really shocked if he just kind of let me have Sylvanas for a while. I must choose! Why not execute? I'm a little surprised. Welcome to the Grand Tournament. Oh, not have huh. <laughs> if I slam it in, all I get is I an acolyte. But if I don't, he can control the trades. So, the, so if I go here, then he can slam, slam, and he gets the card draw. But this is also preventing him from playing something bigger. So I think that's why he was waiting. Let there. me. So he's think. probably got some other bigger stuff in his hand. But I do have a keeper, Uldaman, which can probably help with that. Let's play the Rune Jack for sure. I think that's a given. I must move quickly. Hmm. Damn, I wish I had spell damage. Okay, let none let's take survive. Reporting for duty. I must move quickly. It's got so many cards. There's really not a whole lot I can do here. Kind of Alright, we'll take two cards today. That's fine. There we go. I can keep her in swing. This works. None may steal our secrets. For justice. Reporting for duty. 
There we go. Now we're looking pretty good. We're doing all right. We can drop this dude. Get some more death rattles. We got Nazoth coming up next. Hopefully we can draw a Tyrion or draw Cairn. Zimana's already Oh shit. Grommy Grom. The makers. Uh. How do we do this? I could Lance Carrier and Abusive, which would bring him up to a 5, and then Consecrate? Hmm. That's a lot of mana. Shit, and I wouldn't be able to play a Twilight Summoner either. Is it better to just sack Rag, though? I don't think so. I could tank 10. Hmm. Actually, yeah. That's fine. I can tank For 10. Justice. And then just play rag. Get in there and fight, maggot! Move oh. quickly! There we go. That works. It's like I didn't lose any health. True Silver healed me for two, and then Rag took care of the rest. So that's good. Nice clean removal of a uh, Rom Bang there. It's probably got Shield Slam though, but you know what? It's okay. We got healed up, and uh, we got Nazoth coming later. He's already used one Brawl, but he probably has a second one in here somewhere. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to. Put your faith in the light. Reporting for duty. Damn, one of the few cases I wanted Rag to heal himself. Because now he can get executed. This deck runs executes, right? It should. It's definitely a very heavy armor or control focused deck. It's very control warrior. -y. So my hope is is yeah. Still too soon. Still too soon. God, Ragnaros Light Lord is like a girl trying to get ready. <laughs> like still too soon. I'm not ready yet. Let me shine my light. I want to be pretty. <laughs> oh man, ladies out there who are watching this video, know that I love you, and I'm simply poking fun. Lord knows it takes me fucking forever to get ready, too. Huh. He seems to be thinking a long time. I guess he's trying to figure out the best way to do it. Uh, Tyrion here. Man, he's got a ton of health. Gore! Gore! Alright, we're gonna get Sylvanas and Tyrion back. And one egg. I think we can safely play this. Tonight, Cairn! A tale of Cairn! A terrible tragedy. My shield for Argus. Oh yeah, that's that's not bad. This document Just looks legal. Right? That summoner. Making a dude. Reporting my wrath. Looking good. The battle for justice. Let's start clearing that armor off as much as possible. Hopefully this is enough for him to brawl. Do you have the artifact? This is good. We want him to play Elise, so then we can play Nazoth. For justice. You rule the horde. Reporting for duty. So what we want is we want for him to play Elise, then we can play Nazoth, then we can kill him on the turn after. That's the plan. Embrace the void. 
Embrace the void. You really show them pain. Oh, I just can't. We hate the void. A little leery about playing this runic egg. Tyrion's died. Sylvanas has died. Karen has died. One egg has died. One loot order has died. We play this, then we're gonna get two eggs back, and then all the big stuff. Let me think. Oh, actually, Justice. Not too bad. I wish shit came back in order. It always seems to come back randomly. Reporting for duty. Because if it did, I can guarantee that this egg wouldn't be there if I had a minion on the board when I played Nazoth. Alright, that's fine. Kinda hope he plays it now. Man, I got that value! Value Gorhal! So very mean! talking about we're like Mind if I, roll need. I don't want to say it's the one flaw with the deck but it is a fairly significant one i would say is you end up having um sometimes you have too many death rattles die and when that happens and you, you play nazoth then it kind of it fucks up your board because you're not getting the full you're not getting the, the big stuff that you want to Right, the stuff you really want to bring back is Cairn, Sylvanas, and Tyrion, right? Those are the huge ones. And maybe some Twilight. Oh shit, I have Twilight Summoners that have died too. No, oh, fuck it. This document looks legal. Let's go! We need some board. Let's get some board. Uh, what you want? The battle! Stop poking me! Stop poking me! The battle! And I want to only leave six minions on the board, because if he does kill the Faceless Summoner, I want him to get resummoned. He's just kind of waiting me out. That's fine. You wait me out all you want, buddy. As soon as you play that fucking, uh... As soon as you play that Golden Monkey, man, we are pouncing with Nazoth. My shield for Argon! Poking me! Signed in blood. The battle! Stop poking me! The battle! I've had this happen a couple of times where that 1-1 one, one prevented the 5-5 five, five from coming out. I don't know why, the interactions with it is kind of weird. Because this is a death rattle. He should die, the board should reduce to 6, and then come back, but maybe it was a glitch, too, I had no idea. It's possible. But like I said, I don't know. Oh, 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 wow. That was pretty neat. We have the same amount of cards. Reporting for duty. I don't want to overdraw. I want him to draw. I want to stay one card ahead here. I'm almost out of cards. He's waiting on it. He hasn't played any exit games. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Oh, the end is coming. I'm almost out of cards. The battle. Do I want to swing with this? 
Keep his life low. Might be nice. I don't think he's running Harrison Jones in here. Let's dump this out of the pain, too. Speak to me for justice. Yeah, let's let's just heal ourselves. Let's keep his life low. That way when we play Nazoth, we can just run him. I don't even want to play a creature anymore. I'm out of cards! We're gonna win into the team. The light protects me. Reporting for duty. Wow, we might win in fatigue. He's got a significantly low life here. It's going to go on soon, right? I fight. The battle! Reporting for duty. I don't know, he can't win the team. He's gotta play the monkey. As soon as he plays the monkey, I'm trading everything in and hitting him with Nzoth. Can outlast a freaking control warrior. Ugh! No fucking way I was gonna play to Zoth until he fucking played that, dude. I ain't dumb, man. I know you still got a brawl in there. Hell yeah. That's how we do Egg Paladin, baby. Egg Paladin. What? What? Hey, Black the Dennis. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, it's been a while, dude. I've been on vacation. A friend of mine uh, went up to Connect, uh, got married in Connecticut. I think I said this before, and um, yeah, like I just I've been gone and finally back. Very excited to play to be on stream. I'm glad that you're uh, here and that you're joining us, man. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, how are things with you? And what do you think about the the pallet egg paladin deck we got rolling right now? I think it's working pretty good. Four viewers, huh? All right. We're on a roll. <laughs> I know it's late. It's four in the morning. It's uh, four in the morning on a Monday. Well, I guess it's a Tuesday now. Fight with honor. So, I don't blame anybody for not watching. Hmm. I think we want to keep these two, and I probably want to keep Barnes. So let's toss an Argent Squire. Alright, Blessing of Kings is not bad. I think I want to save this coin. Like I said, I want to coin Barnes into Blessing of Kings, if at all possible. So I think I'm just going to Dragon Egg, Argent Squire, or Dragon Egg Dude. Might pick up an Acolyte of Pain, which would be sweet, but if we don't... Alright, Raven Idol. It's probably a Yogg and Load. This deck kills Yogg and Load, man. It just... Because... It builds a board faster than, than, uh, not Yogg and Load, excuse me, the, just the Yogg Saron uh, version of this deck. Like the ramp, the rampy Yogg Saron, Double Arcane Giant, you know, Fandral version. This deck tends to beat that deck. It tends to go a little too fast for it. Mind if I roll need? Because this deck spreads out, so it's very zooey. Um, and because of that, druids have a hard time dealing with that. 
especially once they use their swipes. Like, swipes become kind of ineffective against this deck, you know? Like, for instance, if he swipes here, I get a 2-1 and I draw a card. Like, yes, he, he... My board is less than it was, but it's still pretty good. What? He used Living Roots to kill my egg? Alright. Alright, I'll take a card draw. Thanks, buddy. Ooh, True Silver. Nice. Always good. Glad to get that draw out of the way. Hopefully we can get something else we can play. Probably gonna coin Barnes here. Like I said, we want to start building person. I think I know half the stuff you're up to. I can see you on Facebook. I'm good. I've also been gone for a while. It was like one family draw after another. Sheesh. Aw, oh, man. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that, Dennis. Tonight, a tale of terror and tragedy. My shield for Argon. Aw, oh, man. But, welcome back. And, uh, hopefully the stream can provide you with a little fun and uh, get your mind off the drama and stuff. But uh, it's neat. I like it. Oh, we're just we're just playing stuff and we're buffing stuff. That's that's really the plan. It's fun and good. Cool, man. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. It's 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 super fun. <laughs> it's super fun. I just I just I love playing shit and then just like going nuts. Ah, that's a good spot. Created by Raven Idol. Ah, you suck balls. That's okay. Let's just dump some. We're gonna dump stuff now. The light protects me. Reporting for duty. <laughs> yeah, there, there's like this idea for this deck is not new. Like it's relatively old. There was an egg paladin back in the day that used the Nerubian eggs and used a lot more like Blessing of Might and like Seal of Champs and stuff like that. Like it was really buff heavy. Uh, whereas this version of the deck doesn't have quite as many buffs, but it's really more board focused. Like it's, it's all about just getting bored and attacking as much as possible. So the question is, do I want to Blessing of Kings here, or do I want to Defender of Argus here? I think Defender of Argus is a little better. It doesn't do as much damage, but it's going to keep these things alive to the hero power. I wonder... Uh, hmm. They could abuse some Sergeant this, then Argus it. Which is not bad either. <laughs> The question is, do I want a 4-6 and two 1-1s, one or think. do I want a 1-3, a 2-2, two two, and a 1-1, one one, and those having taunt? Um, I think I do want the taunt. My seal We're gonna go with for the I don't, I don't think we need to get crazy. I fight. The battle! He's already used a swipe. Move quickly. And I think I want to save it for, like, surprise. You know, like if, for instance, he drops an Ancient of War. I've got ways to deal with it. What? No, what is he wrathing? Ah, you're a bitch. Hmm. So let's see here. I can True Silver abusive. I can Blessing of Kings abusive. And that would kill it. Or I can drop Sylvanas. Mm. I think Sylvanas is good because then he has no way of killing this dude first. And it would force him to drop dudes. I have no time for games. Plus, like I said, build a board, build a board, build a board. Let's get some board presence out there. He's on 10 mana, so he can drop anything he wants. Um, but most of the stuff in this deck is really big, and so Sylvanas counters a lot of that. Hopefully my Sylvanas will be able to steal something. If it could steal the 5-5, five five, that would be sweet. Because then I could fucking Blessing of Kings it. The land serves me! Yeah, spread. Hope it doesn't happen. Oh. Huh. Okay. 
Well, let's Let see what we got. Survive. Come on, baby! Ah! Dang it. Alright, that's okay. Uh, let's just truce over this then. And we'll drop the acolyte. Hey, you speak to me! For justice! And, uh, he's gonna make this trade, so... Let's just get an, get an extra the two battle. damage. Looking good, looking good. Oh, absolutely, Dennis. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be streaming till at least 6 o'clock today. And, uh, definitely gonna be streaming this deck pretty much the whole time. I might try one more deck after this, or I might do Arena after this. But, yeah, I'll still be here, man. This is a late night stream, man. It's for all my, all my late night peeps. Or early peeps. You're an early peep. You know? Yeah, no. Do what you gotta do, man. Do what you gotta do. That's cool, though. We got a 3-3, so we can make a trade here. We can make a trade here. Even if he, like, clears this somehow, we, we've got decent trades. We've got decent card draws. We got our buffs. We got our stuff. I like our position. A little worried about our King Giants. A little worried about, um, you know, Yogg-Saron, obviously. Or Thorison. Or Arcane Giants. <laughs> hey! There's a fatty. Huh. Okay, so we've, we've got some issues here. So... Get in there and fight, I think we need to clear... Here. Can I just take eight? Yeah, Feel okay. my wrath. Cause we got, we got wrath. justice. I don't really mind it. This way we can get some extra cards too. There we go. Hey. Move quickly. Not a bad board presence. He hasn't played any swipes yet, but swipe will get us two cards. Yeah. Huh, he could swipe my face now. Oh, no, he's gonna... Okay, that's okay. Probably hero power down one of these guys. Oh, man, come on. Any chance for Tyrion? Nope. Took him as a wound on, though. That's not bad. Okay, I don't think we need to play Rag yet. Oh, no, if we play Rag now... Oh, wait, so this is a gift. He got that on turn one, and he mulliganed it, and he's got a draw. You know what? We need to push the edge. Let me think. None may steal our secrets. For justice! Let's get rid of that thing, because he can get shot. Yeah, next turn, we definitely play Rag. Drawing Tyrion or Cairn would be great, but I think we just definitely play Rag here. He might be saving his Nazoth. Or, uh, not Nazoth. yogg -Saron for like when I have a big board set up to try to clear it. Hmm, I wonder. So I think playing Rag first is probably a good idea. One, to get the heals, and two, just to push face damage. So even though I could play Nazoth next turn, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to play Rag instead. Unless he drops an Arcane Giant. If he drops an Arcane Giant, I can keep it. Probably better. The land serves me! Ooh, he didn't gain armor. That's good for us. I'm very happy about that. The makers. Yep. 
He's only got two cards left. He could draw a Nourish, though. That would suck. And we may need an Azoth sooner than I would like. That's died. Twilight Sondersheim died. I think it's died as an egg, a loot hoarder. Hmm. Oh, and Sylvanas. That's probably good enough. Raven idled in. I can see. Yes! Mm! Woo! Egg Paladin! Yeah, baby. Climbing the ranks. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Egg Paladin. Egg Paladin. Egg Paladin. What? Egg Paladin. Uh, egg Paladin. Paladin. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy how much like this game, like this deck, kind of holds back. I will fight with honor. You, you kind of want to slowly but surely play your stuff. Uh, what are we playing? A mage. Uh, okay. So I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna need value. So I'm gonna toss these. I'm gonna keep that. Try to get some eggs. Get my lance with my lance carrier. No eggs. Okay, all buffs. Hello. Damn it. Well met. Greetings, traveler. Disco. Disco. There we go. Cha 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 cha. Dig and pass. Riveting game, guys. Riveting game. Let the pain speak to me. Let the pain speak to me. All right. So I have a couple options. I could blessing a king's this, but I want to keep her this so None I can get a three two and a three four. Lost. I want board presence against a mage. Yes, he's drawing cards, and his acolyte indicates this is probably freeze mage. So what we want to do is push as much face damage as we can before he has time to set up his ice block and before he has time to set up his damage. So that's that's kind of the plan here. Not in my house. Okay, it's not effigy. Ice block. Okay, ice block or ice barrier. Excuse me. Could be mirror entity. I think if it's Mirror Entity, we want to give him a Lance Carrier, right? Yeah, we can... Oh, you know what? We can defend our Argus. Then he just gets a 2-3. That's fine. Let's do My that. My shield Let's... for Argus! Stop Argus! My shield for Argus! We're okay with him having a 2-3. Definitely free The speech. end is coming! Well, that sucks. All right, let's just get a five. This five. document looks legally bad. Five five. Of course, he's gonna be old. A dugan. Fine. Right. We want freeze mage wasting fireballs. As much as we can, we want freeze make wasting fireballs. We want him to use all his removal on our stuff. We do not want him to draw. <laughs> uh 
Okay, so this deck doesn't run Vaporize, but it does run... Let the pain speak to me! Do we want a Blessing of Kings instead? It makes it really weak to Polymorph. I don't think that's a good idea. I think we just go Egg and make a dude. Let's just build a board. Reporting for duty. That's fine, we can always buff later. I actually want to buff the Acolyte so I can get some more card draws. I kind of don't want this to get polymorphed either, if I can help it. Does this deck run? Does Free Space run polymorph? I think it does. Cool. Can I let him draw two cards? I'll take that. Find the people. Alrighty. Yeah. We got Twilight. This Slider. document looks legally binding. And food order. Mind if I roll need? And make it in. Like I said, reporting for duty. He hasn't played his ice block yet either, which is surprising. So that's good. It may mean he doesn't have it. So if we can if we can start pushing hard. Ireland's portal. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let him get rid of that stuff. That is totally fine. Let's just choose silver. This. What justice? And let's just make a dude. Reporting for duty. For honor. No problemo. Hey. Still haven't played a fucking ice block yet. The battle. That definitely surprises me. Right. Let's just keep going. There it is. Oh, one of those is a barrier too. Excuse me, you are on fire. Oh, Excuse me, the Earth Mother. You are upon us. So we definitely can't this let him run around put and us out here. Justice! He's got the block up. So, I think we need to... <clears throat> we have Nazoth. So I think the more we can push... I have no time for games. The battle! The battle! Build this board and force him to have the burn. He's only got five cards. If he doesn't drop Thorison, we should be okay. Yeah, let's just force him to have the burn. Uh. This is good. This is fine. Use all your removal. Waste all of it. There you go. Good. 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 The battle! Oh, we need to get this block popped. The battle! AP. And... Let's see, he's not gonna have a lot of minions. Reporting for duty. None may steal our secrets. Hoping we can pop it next turn. No. Three, three, seven. Seven and four is eleven. Not in my house. <laughs> The battle! And let's just drop some of the last flame strike here. Reporting for duty. 
Play one Blizzard, but no Flame Strike. Do you have second ice block? Okay. For justice. Mind if I roll me. All right, buddy. We got to clear this board now. Reporting for duty. You gotta clear this board and heal up. Yeah, no more blocks. You I know that. My Aha! That's fine. Got him. For justice. And that's how you need a freeze mage. Yeah, baby. That's how you need a freeze mage. All right, guys, gonna take a quick break. Uh, I'll be right back. Enjoy Darth Vader. He's got new stuff now. Look, he's got cranes. He's sick. We're back. Whew. Oh, feeling better. Dropping my phone. All right. Things are going good. Let's do this. Come on, Egg Paladin. Let me take a look at my deck tracker here. See where we're at. We are 55 and 50. 31 with this deck. So we're doing good. Doing good. And we are also 2 and 1 with it now. Wait, 2 and 1? No, we're 3 and 1. 3 and 1. Right, we beat the Freeze Mage. We beat the Druid. And I want to say we beat the Warrior. And then we lost. We lost to something else. I think we're three and one. Ah, <laughs> I forget. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep the Twilight Summoner. I'm gonna toss everything else in X Blotch. Oh, gross. I should have a cool name like Bachata Rockstar. Hmm. Do I want to coin loot hoarder? Uh, I might. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna coin loot hoarder in the loot hoarder. We, we need presents on the board. Uh, hunters typically are the worst for this deck because this deck builds a little slowly and then kind of overwhelms the opponent with mid ah! mid to late aggression and buffs. So the problem with hunters is they tend to just keep going face, and then it's difficult for us to build a, a big enough board to like. Really defend against them. Mind if I roll need? You know, you can't really play the card advantage game with a hunter. <laughs> They're just gonna hunt you. They're just gonna keep firing at you. And uh, that makes it tough. Alright, we have consecration. That's not too bad. 
The light protects me. Reporting for duty. I think it's better just to make a dude here. Yeah, this gives them kind of good trades, but we got Twilight Summoner coming. We got Keeper Uldaman coming. Should be fine. If he leaves anything alive, we can bust a Kings it. If he drops another two drops, we can consecrate. Um, yeah, he's okay. I think we blessing the kings here, and then we trade because then that will make this a bad trade too. Twilight Summoner doesn't do enough here, honestly. I fight. This force is him to use a card here, and even though he'll still have two one ones. Pushing face, it's tough. This document looks legally binding. All right, we got two nice keeper lance keeper targets. We got a blessing of kings target. Damn, wailing on us. Yeah, I think we need to keep her. None may steal our secrets. Trade here? Get the spit, or do we trade here and get the one ones? Or do we trade here and get the two twos? I want to leave that a three three. Huh. Three two one one. I think Science this is in better. blood. Because then the two Which I'm okay with. Damn, that spit went face. He's probably got enough burn here. The light protects me. Now we got a great consecration. Now we can clear the floor and so stabilize. Okay, so first Stop we go here. Stop poking me! Not in there. my house. Hadouken. That's fine. We lance care of uh, egg. What you want? Second egg. Okay. Now we just gotta hope he doesn't get enough damage to kill us before we can play the true silver. That was about the best we could have done. I don't know what this card is, but he's been holding it since the beginning. If you call the wilds, we're fucked, obviously. But if he doesn't, alright. The victory is yours. Three and two. Three and two. That blows. They have to be three and two. Yeah, we were a star off. <laughs> we were two stars off. Wait. How did we gain three stars? Are we four and two? Do we have a win streak star? We had a win streak star. And then we gained a star. So we should be up two stars from where we were originally. Uther versus Garrosh! Weird. We should still be able to sit. Not terrible. Fight with honor. Uh, ooh, warrior. Okay. Uh, I definitely want the Argent Squire. I think I want the Acolyte of Pain so I can coin it out. Visa Sergeant would be nice here. Let's toss this. Let's try to get an egg. Lance Carrier. That's not too bad either. Like I said, we can always buff the Argent Squire. <laughs> Le Charusu. That sounds kind of dirty. Oh well. Oh well. Hmm. Alrighty. 
passing on turn one. I'm really giving the it away. Yeah. Protects me. Fiery War Axe. Always Fiery War Axe, right? Slam! Da 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 da. Let the boys be boys and slam! Da da da. Yeah, let's coin out the acolyte here. I don't really want to buff this guy yet. And I think just dropping the eggs is enough. I, I want to get some card draw to match his card draw. Uh, his early use of slam may indicate OTK warrior. Pain speak to me. Which is entirely possible. Um, I think we go Lance Carrier and Runic Egg and buff the Acolyte and trade in. Uh, thereby want. limiting his card draw and potentially giving us more. I bring the pain. I fight. Nice. Turn four place. That's awesome. It's a nice turn four, turn five. We got board presence here, so this is good. And this also sort of plays around Ravaging Ghoul. He kills a 1-1, but then he leaves me a 1-1, a 3-1, and an 0-1. And I get to draw a card, so... It doesn't... Uh, yeah, I kind of prevent no. Slam, too. Because then we draw a card and he doesn't, but he does get rid of a 3-2. So, yeah, this is probably his best play. Just shield block, armor up. Go from there. This right, document so looks Stop! Poking me. Much to play around. Attacking, going face now. Bring the pain. So, it's probably the armor up control warrior. Okay. All right. Time to keep her up, baby. None may steal our secrets. Save the abusive for later. I may need it for something else. Play something big, I don't I don't know. Something big. <laughs> this is most likely control. Slam execute. Drop Sylvanas now? What other big stuff comes in this deck? No, let's not. This document looks just, legally fine. It's just not holding my house. He could drop Baron Geddon here. I don't think that's a good idea though. Chilma? Depends on what this deck runs. Gonna armor up. Your magic shall not save you. Barnes! What's up, bro? Let's see what we get here. Tonight! A tale of true terror. None may steal our secrets. That was name. Uh, we're gonna do it actually on the 1 1 here. The battle! And the reason is because if he does brawl again, oh, no, I want to have house. Signed in blood. Reporting if he does brawl you. again, I want something to live. I want a guaranteed life on board. Do you have the artifact? Okay. Anything else? So that does still live. Oh, we have 11. He's got 22. I wonder if this is time to just start pushing. I think we can just drop some bonus here. Yeah. And let's just I have no time for games. Let's force him to have the answers. Reporting for duty. Not in my house. On with the show. So we got four damage in hand too. We can armor up to thirteen. Oh. 
Oh, revenge? Revenge. I forgot about that. That's a good play. Let the pain speak to me. Still has one execute left. Four can bring him down to three. The armor's up. If we get any more buffs, if we get if we draw a blessing of kings here. Blessing of kings would do it. For justice. Just keep, the pressure. Just keep the pressure on. Play to our outs. Play to our outs. If he doesn't execute, I got him. Hmm. Blessing of Kings would win the game for us. Wait, no, when. Yeah, he doesn't. Top deck and execute. That's fine. How big is this? Reporting for duty. It's a five. Let's just wait for a sec. Second true silver would work. Obviously, Tyrion, Azoth, Cairn. He's already played a brawl. He's almost out of stuff. We just we just need to draw our win conditions. What now? If he kills this, then I can hero power blessing. And he won't be able to kill it again. He's out of executes. He could shield slam it though. Got another shield block. Definitely putting him in a tough spot. I must choose. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, champion. So that's fine. Gerard, you are not fit to rule the hall. Yeah, I don't think he has enough to remove this. Oh wait, yeah, he does. Never mind, we still got a 4-5 though. That's probably a bad play. We'll have to face tank 8 though if he does. Well... Yucks are on shit. I forgot this deck runs that. Fuck! 
Ah, uh, God, my yawn luck has been so bad. Re I wanted him to draw cards. Yes! Oh, he burned, burned in. Okay. That's cool. I know he's got a brawl in there. He has to at this point. He's got an Iron Forge portal. He's got a brawl. Mm. He's got his monkey. He's got a shield block, a ravaging ghoul, and one shield slam. Hmm. I could play this now, force the brawl, and then get Tyrion later and win the game. And I would draw cards with the loot horde. Oh, Let me loot think. Horde. What's died? Sylvanas has died. Karen has died. What is that? I must move quickly. I wonder. I get two five fives and draw a card. Shield slam and play the monkey. Uh. I must choose. And we win. We won. Wait, unless 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 that's sh okay. What justice? That's ice cream. Victory for Sylvanas! Well played, sir. Well played. Mm. Let's go, Egg Paladin. Yeah, baby. Egg Paladin, four and two. Woohoo! On a roll! I can't believe this deck is winning! <laughs> you just missed a sick freaking beatdown of Control Warrior! Ha! <laughs> that was sick! Oh man! I can't believe it! He brawled, he gives me two five fives, kills my Sylvanas! And then guess what? True silver for the win. Watch, 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 watch. You really gotta save your reach with this deck. You gotta save your reach so it surprises him. He's like, there's no way I could lose. I have 15 health. He's only got 10 damage. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Uh, what are we playing? A shaman? I want to keep true silver. I'm gonna toss barns, try to get something cheaper. Whew. That was a risky Nazoth. I just did it because I think he, he needed to play Brawl and he needed to clear. And I, I got lucky that Sylvanas won the Brawl, to be honest with you. Because then that forced another answer out of him. But if Sylvanas doesn't win the Brawl, like, like you know, if somebody else wins the Brawl, then I steal his stuff. So, it ends up not being too bad. Uh, let's just play our Lord, 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 Lord. 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 
Greetings! Well met. <laughs> well met, sir. Well met. You, you have a good, good looking deck. I like what you play. I also play it. Um, yeah, we lost to a hunter. And uh, we've beaten two control warriors, actually, back to back, which is kind of nuts. And both of them went to fatigue, too. And that's usually where the control warrior wins, but in this case, not so much. Uh, let's just drop the egg. Very hard to beat this. Shamans tend to beat us up, too, honestly. This deck beats everything except the super aggro decks. It just, it just builds a little too slowly. That's, that's the only problem. And then he's going to trade the 1-1 one, one in there. Okay, that's fine. Now we can true silver and trade. For justice! I fight. <sighs> I wish we had some board presence, but what can you do? Um, yeah, I'm surprised at how well this deck does against the controly decks. Because it's kind of, I mean, I wouldn't call it mid-range per se, but it, it, it snowballs. It absolutely snowballs this deck. Huh. Do I want to consecrate this? I don't think I do. But all I can really do is play a 1-1. One, one. I'm going to wait. He might open it. Reporting for duty. Let him play some cheaper stuff and we can clear out a bigger board here. Would suck if he did uh, Feral Spirits or something like that, but... Okay. That's alright. That's fine. I think now we can Consecrate and kill the... Yeah, now we can Consecrate. Turn six, we can hero power blessing of kings, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully we draw a Twilight Summoner or Cairn or Sylvanas or something like that. Six mana is a nice um It's a good point for our deck because we have so many things that get activated on six. Cairn. 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 That's not Cairn. Okay, yeah, now we definitely just hero power and Blessing of Kings. Reporting for duty. It's really tough to match Shaman play for play, tempo for tempo. So we kinda... this play is necessary, just we need presence on the board. We need to do something. Get in there and fight? Rockbiter, damn it. Ah, I was afraid of that. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Zero mana five five is always bad. Hmm. Let the pain speak to me. Hmm. Do I want a blessing of kings in? It would make a five eight. Yeah, if I blessing a kings in I can rag next turn. And then this is a big presence. Hmm. You might have Hex. Hmm. Let's do it. If he's got Hex, he's got Hex. At least then it'll take the Hex away from Rag. Yeah. He'll swing in and then we can do some more damage with Rag. Or we can heal up with Rag. So let's die. None of the Ah, I had any death rattles die? I've had no death rattles die. Live in front! Now we just gotta hope he doesn't have another hex. 
force him to trade in most of his board here. Wow, no death rattle. I haven't even drawn a single death rattle yet. This is tough. This is tough. Hmm. I mean, I have plays, but none of them good. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> He must have some sort of lightning bolt or something. Okay. That's really bad for us. That is really bad for us. Maybe I should put the quality in this game. Loot hoarder? Fuck. What good is that gonna do? Uh, I can loot hoarder lance carrier defender? Let's kind of hope that keeps us alive. What you want? My shield for Argon. <sighs> That's all we can really do. We're too far behind at this point. Fucking shamans, man. Op op. <laughs> this deck isn't meant to beat shamans. Rank five, still doing fine. Let's keep going. Egg Paladin. Four and three. That sucks. That sucks. I don't know. That's shaman. I mean, it's the best deck in the game. You know, it's it, it, it's the best deck in the game right now. I refuse to play it, but it is the best deck in the game. Uther versus Malfurion. I remember when Secret Paladin was the best deck in the game. And I refused to play it for so long. And then finally I broke down. And then I got, like, I almost got Legend. <laughs> I was like, why wasn't I playing this sooner? Let's keep the last carrot in case we draw some eggs. I don't know. I think one of these months I'm gonna just be like, fuck it, let's try to get Legend. And, uh... Usually beat druids, so we should be okay here. One of these, one of these months, I'm just gonna be like, all right, I want to get legend. I'm just gonna play that. Deck. Ooh, Barnes. Go, nice. uh, go, Lance Carrier. Nice. Let's go, let's go. Deck's doing good. Argent Squire Hero Power next turn, probably. Drawing a card, getting rag. Okay. He's setting up for some nice. The light protects me. You could coin swipe my face. I don't know why you'd do that, but you can. He's gonna coin swipe my face. Behold! Oh. Rage of the well, that needs to die. Hadouken! Stop poking me! The battle! I don't know why he did that. I could have just had a true silver. It seemed like kind of a bad idea. Wrath hero power? I got, a, I, got a, I got Barnes coming up. I'm gonna be fine. I got Barnes in the cairn. Into big stuff. Should be good. Ah, oh, cool. And the dragon eggs? Tonight! A tale of Tremonis! Okay, Arkham Square is good. Plays around swipe. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Where shall I strike? Well, I don't know, buddy. Where do you want to strike? 
Take heart, young one. The Earth Mother is uh, I don't think we swing here. I think we're good. Turn seven is going to be really awkward. Probably going to play whatever I do. I am undefeated. Master Jouster? Harrison Jones? My mind is blown. Uh... I fight. This is an Astro Communion deck. Reporting for duty. Okay, admittedly, did not see that coming. We kind of need to kill him. All upon us. Five ten. Okay, as a trick, we can deal with. Swipe. All right, we'll draw a card. We get a two one. There are worse things. Ooh. Um. Let's just try. Put your faith in the light. No mulch. This deck doesn't run mulch, right? Astral Communion deck. No mulch. Yeah. Let's just put the pressure on. Yeah. Naturalize. This might be an Astro Communion Yog. Uh, yog. Astro Communion Alados. Alrighty then. Hmm. Did we overcommit? I don't want these to live. I wonder. But another part of me wants to just jam damage. I can make this a 3-3 three, three, and then make it a 7-7. Seven, seven. Hmm. He's already used one swipe. This would be a 6 3 swipe. Let's move quickly. I don't know if this My is the best player. Or not. Put this is the player we're going with. Let's move quickly. We're just going to push damage. Let's go. <sighs> Let's force him to have an answer right here, right now. Should have no way to answer the seven six. So we need four damage. Okay. Um. I think we just drop rag. I mean, how's he gonna deal with rag? I wonder. We could go Keeper Voldemon, Acolyte of Pain, Save Rag, spread out a little bit. I think that's pretty good too, actually. Let's do that instead. Reporting for duty. Let the pain speak to me. 
None may steal our secrets. Quickly. Fucking everything. I don't think he can. Where shall I strike? <laughs> he did have the second swipe. <laughs> That should win us the game. Why do they always have mass to spell? GG? GG? By the holy light! GG? GG. I can see. Yes! Yes, he had a ton of cards, but all of his swipes were gone at that point. Harrison Jones was gone at that point. He could have played a Master Jouster, but really the only thing... That was the only thing I was thinking. I was like, I'm going to play this. He's going to play Yogg. Anything survives. We win. We drop Rag the Light Lord after that. We heal up. We attack. There's no way he's going to be able to clear Rag after all his Yogg's are on bullshit. Well played. With honor. Aww. Can I have 10 mana now? <laughs> uh, what are we playing? A mage? Do we need a true silver? Um, we might. If it's tempo mage, we're going to want to kill his three twos. His little, uh, you know, the cult sorcerers, the sorcerer's apprentice. Especially want to kill the flame waker if we can help it. <laughs> you want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. I do want to cast a spell. The light protects me. You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. Go ahead. Nobody's stopping you, babbling book. The end. You go right ahead and cast your spells. It's no problem. Let's put one of each out there. Defender Argus, right off the top. Two one three eggs, ready for battle. That would Someday be awesome. I'll be just like you. Ooh. Alright. Do we keep her an egg or do we true silver an egg? <sighs> if we keep her the egg, we get a 3 4 out there, but then one of her eggs dies. I don't want I mean, the egg doesn't have to die. Okay. Uh, I think we keep her the dragon egg. None may steal our secrets. Here. There we go. Uh, two, one, three. Uh, three, four also threatens it. So he's gonna have to make a relatively bad choice. I fire lord. was lucky. 3-2 just gonna go face. That's fine, we can true silver this. Alright, draws a card. Huh, 
could consecrate the whole board. Nah, let's get the true silver out there. For justice! He's used up most of his resources. If he doesn't get arcane into like a catalyst home, we should be fine. Problemo. No problemo. Twilight Sucker. Is off. Okay, that's good. Get a gag. Make a dude. Reporting and, uh, for what duty. What you say? want? I just want board present. I don't know what he's gonna play, but I want to be ready to kill anything he plays at this point. Because we got Karen coming up on turn six. That's fine. Ping one. That's fine. Alright, Karen's coming down. Here we go. Stop and poking we got me. Turn seven. We can Acolyte Dude. We can Acolyte Consecrate. He's got Firelands Portal. Probably. No, he doesn't. Oh, he's just pinging. Wow. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's just keep building a board here. Please speak to me. I think we can save this piece of sorry for, for else. For honor. He's just gonna get pinged on anyway. Stop poking me! <sighs> He's just saving so he can, like, dump his board again. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Like, Azure Drake, and then, like... Like, Summoner, or whatever the heck it is. Really? He's, he's gonna ping the 4-5? You know, I'm gonna try to justice. Mind if I roll me? Stop poking me. Hopefully, no frame strike. The battle. Actually, that's probably why he did it. Now that I think about it. Okay, let's just hold off. If he flame strikes, we'll draw two cards and we'll get a four or five you out there. My oh shit. That's the best play there. The battle. And get Tyrion, but Karen has died. If he clears this board, Twilight Summer will be dead. Yeah. Fireball my face. Frostbolt my face. Okay. That's not too bad. Signed in blood. Ah, uh, we might get burned out here. You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. Yeah, that's an arc man. Okay, good. He didn't draw a fireball. So that's nice. <sighs> Yes! Yeah. Woo, look at that paladin go! See? This deck, it just, it just wrecks people sometimes, man. They, like, they have nothing they can do against it. It's just, it always has a board. 
That's what I think is so good about it. It just always has a board. Even when they clear the board, we can refill it with a bunch of cheap stuff. And it's weird, because like, like a lot of the stuff we're filling it with, 1-1s, one 2-2s, two but then if they die, it creates a 5-5, five five, or, you know, if they die, they're just playing in the Zoth. You know, that's what's really cool about it. It's like everything synergizes from the Zoth, everything synergizes with the eggs, everything synergizes with the buffs. Like, it's hard to beat. This deck is hard to beat. It doesn't have the best win rate. You know, I'm not, I'm not rolling off at a 75% clip or anything, but... You know, as of right now, what am I at? It's doing 67% overall. And, uh, you know, we've played nine games. We're six and three. You know, so. Taint bad. What I like about it, too, is most of the plays, what there's, there's almost always a play. The only time there's not a play is turn three if you don't draw the Acolyte. So, I don't know. I mean, there's, like, things I want to change about the deck. I would love a second Defender of Argus, personally. But I'm just not sure what to take out, man. I can't take the Acolyte out. The Acolyte does good. I mean, we get a lot of card draw. You know? We tend to go through our deck relatively fast. We, we almost always get every card that we need. It's really only when we draw bad and we sort of bottom deck all the big legendaries that we lose. Or, you know, we play Hunter. Want to know the exact list? Let me see if I can get that on screen. Give me one sec. Is basically this two abusives, two Argent Squires, two Dragon Eggs, two Runic Eggs, two Lance Carriers, two Loot Hoarders, one Accolade of Pain, one Bards, two Blessing of Kings, two Consecrations, one Defender of Argus, two Keepers of Uldamon, two True Silver Champions, two Twilight Summoners, Cairn, Sylvanas, Rag Light Lord, Tyrion Fordring, and Nizoth. Uh, okay, I think we coin out the uh, true silver to kill that. And we can trade here. For justice! Draw another card. I think we're good. Um, I'm gonna try to put it up after this game. I've been having issues with my stream and stuff, and it doesn't always put up pictures properly. Um, but after this game, I'll try to I let the dogs out. Wow, that's kind of a desperate move. That's fine with me. All right. Any legendary. Any legendary. Any legendary. My shield for Argus. That's not a legendary. Okay. For justice. Oh, he played that. Dog. That's okay. Stranglethorn. Interesting. I think we just play out the dudes here. Let the pain speak to me. On with the show. On with the, the breach. Well played. Give him a lot of targets here. Nice list. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Thank you. It's it's pretty tight at this point. It's definitely been refined. I think I'm almost at 100 games at this point with this deck. I wonder. So, I know there's several versions out there um, that play this deck. If you don't have all the legendaries... Um, I guess in theory you could replace Rag Light Lord with Rag Fire Lord and make this a little more aggressive version. Um, you could also use um, Ivory Knight. 
because this deck does need some healing. It definitely does. It's not something where you can just not heal. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, I have no time for games. Into the breach. And let's do some trading. <laughs> Hopefully, we can steal me a Savannah hat. That'd be sweet. Um, you absolutely need to have Nazoth. Nazoth is one of your biggest is your win condition, uh, along with Tyrion Fordring. You gotta have those. Um, Sylvanas and Karen, man, it's really hard to replace those two. You might be able to get away with replacing Sylvanas for maybe a little cheaper Death Rattle minion, but it's just so. <laughs> The hoons! He unleashed the hoons! Ho oh, ho! Good morning, Mr. Fordring. How are you? Let's clear this little And let's get myself In case I get Defender of Argus. Um, the Twilight Summoners. At first, I actually thought they were a weak part of this deck, because I was just like, you know, I'm, I'm playing a one mana, you know, four mana one one, which kind of sucks. But they do really good at preventing AOE, and then when they come alive, you've got five fives. That is so tough to beat. Whew! Man, we getting rocked. Is Tyrion enough to win us this game? Let's see, we Consecrate would kill those two. And then we still don't win. Oh, I can Consecrate and Lance Carry or something. Hey, give me that! What you want? Reporting for duty. I Job done. Time to hope! Hope for the best! That is something that is, um... Yeah, the hard part about... Oh, no! 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 Stupid hunter! Ah! Stupid hunters. God damn it. It's the flaw of the stack. Um, I like the runic eggs. The reason I like the runic eggs is for the card draw. So the crazy part is that sometimes you do get them back, right? Sometimes Azoth just brings back two eggs and a bunch of crap. But the nice part is, is that when they get cleared again, you get to draw again. So, a lot of times Nazoth is not... You don't hold Nazoth all the time till the end. Sometimes you just play it so you can draw more stuff. Like, if you didn't draw Katerian or Karen or whatever, then you can play it with some Runic Eggs and some Loot Hoarders and just get a bunch of card draws. I know. I know. I'm sad too, bro. <laughs> I'm sad too. Ah, oh, crap. I was supposed to put up the list. Sorry about that, guys. One sec. I will get it up. Let me just, let me, I, I gotta play this game. Um, what are we playing? A Shaman? Probably Defender can go. Lance Carrier, I might want to keep. I think I want to keep the Acolyte. Eh, we'll keep the Cooper too. Might want to make something big. That's fine. Um, so a lot of times you can actually play Nazoth somewhat preemptively. And then maybe you only get one Legendary back. But getting the eggs back will allow you to draw into your legendary, so it's not so bad. Fucking shamans. Ugh, shamans and hunters! They're the bane of my existence. Lord almighty. Um, and so it kind of ends up working out. The other thing is, too, is there's barns in this deck. And so what's nice about barns is sometimes he'll draw out one of your big legendaries, and then you get two of them. So, even if those legendaries get stuck in your deck, Barnes a lot of times can draw them out. 
So, it's not so bad. The Runic Eggs have actually been really good, because a lot of times you buff them, you get, you get a nice trade, and you get a draw, which I think is awesome. That was a mistake. Thanks, dude. Alrighty, let's draw a card. Draw first. Because that's what good players do. And uh, I think we just play the eggs. Uh, if he drops the format of 7 7, we have an answer for it. Tonight, a Arns, eh? tragedy. There is a lot at stake here. Two is working fine. I'm not sure what you would replace. If you take one egg out, you know, what else are you putting in? Are you putting in another Defender of Argus, maybe? I, I think that's a pretty good play. Uh, speaking of Defender of Argus, I kind of want to do that now. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Well, bring the pain. let's draw. Nice. Um, I think we're gonna buff, buff this thing. Now we got. Some. I think you could put in a second Defender of Argus. Um, having the two Runic Eggs, like I said, it gives you two draws. And potentially more with Nazoth coming back. So, that's actually why... Originally I was running two Acolytes. Hmm. One Runic Egg. And one Defender. And then I also switched it. I was thinking maybe I could get a second Defender. So I think I think there's, variant, there, there's variants that you can make. That, um, you know, would be good. I don't think you need to adhere to any one. None may yeah, steal our secrets. I'd rather it hit here than hit something else. Um, yeah. I think you could definitely go with two defenders. Uh, you could definitely maybe you could maybe get away with two acolytes. Like like having two turn three plays is usually pretty good. Maybe take out a runic egg. Honestly, if I was gonna take something out, I would probably take out a dragon egg. Because I feel like the dragon egg is actually underperforming. Uh, the reason is because, like, a lot of times I'm only getting a... I'm getting a 2-1 out of it, which is nice, but it's rare that I get more than one. So often, I'm, I'm getting one egg, or one dragon, and that's it. And then the dragon doesn't necessarily do that much either. You know? And that, that's, that's what kind of gets me. Is I wish that he did more. For justice. Not in my house. Reporting for duty. We're doing good. The shaman does not have any board presence. <sighs> We've got our big stuff coming up. I can uh, drop Cairn coming up next turn. Doing good. Thing from below. Yeah, a part of me wants to run two Arguses, but to be honest with you, the Argus is kind of underperforming too. Because a lot of times I end up just buffing an egg. And it doesn't always help. What a bastard. Nice draw, that's a top deck. Your mother For justice! But he's kept these two cards on the left ever since the beginning. The one on the left he, he had in his mulligan. And the second one he drew like on turn two or three. So my guess is one of those is a hex. 
These three cards could be anything. I haven't really presented them with a good hex target yet. Or with a second good hex target. What to do? He hexed my egg, if I remember correctly. We're doing good, man. I think we're gonna beat the shaman. This would be nice. We definitely have him out carded and outboarded. He's absolutely behind here. For a bloodlust? He might be going for a bloodlust. I don't think he is, though. I wonder. The question is do we dump Tyrion now? I kind of don't want to. For honor! Well, this trade is happening for sure. <laughs> I want to use my Argus here, actually. The light protects me. Move quickly. Reporting for duty. My shield for Argus. Let's just keep him off our face for a little bit. <sighs> Might be able to get him to use. Did you bring too. some fish? That would be nice. Ugh, that's terrible. That gives him an extra attack. You can bash through everything now. So I want Tyrion to stay alive for Nazoth. So I might drop Rag next turn. I go Rag Abuse and maybe trade up to something. That should be pretty good. Hmm. Pretty much everything from Keeper of Uldamon on up, you gotta keep them. Like you just there's little time. You cannot afford to not have four one into the two three. Did you swing with the four one yet? 4, 1, to the 4, 5? How many mails from portals do you have? Yeah, buddy. Oh, what? To battle! Ishne Ano Pura! Into the breach! All right, let's drop a rag here. Oh, my he force oh, out here. But if it doesn't, he'll heal up these. Hopefully, he'll up that here. God, my rag luck has been so shit today. My RNG has been bad. <laughs> uh, and we're still winning, which is nice. But man, my rag RNG, my portal RNG, like, ah, oh, lord. But hey, it's her stone. If you blame everything on RNG, you're never gonna win. That, that is that is the god's honest truth. If you blame everything on RNG, you are not gonna win. Because it's gonna keep you. It's going to keep you from uh, analyzing your game. Uh, yeah, we need to clear that. For justice. Let me drop Sylvanas here. I have no time for games. That way it'll prevent him from dropping anything else. Dude, heal yourself! I'm fine, heal yourself! Oh. <laughs> RG is fun! Don't get me wrong! RNG is fun. It has to be part of the game. 
Because if there was no RNG, it would just be chess, and the best player would win every time. You can't have that. That's terrible for a card game. You know, when people blame RNG, they, they, they blame the RNG that they can't control. You know, they blame the, um, um, you know, where Sylvanas goes, they blame where Rag goes, they blame where this goes, they blame, you know. But RNG, like, card draw is RNG. Alright, that's fine. You know, card draw is RNG. Mana uh, uh, Tuscar Totemics are ours. Oh, 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 great. Alright, so it looks like he was not holding onto a hex like I thought he was. Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! Hello, my ragtime summertime girl! Put your face in the light! <laughs> I can't hit that note. I'm just, I'm a one man, I'm a one man choir. It, it, it doesn't work, but it's all good. Um, yeah, you have to have that. You know, it's just like in poker, right? Like, if the best player won every time, nobody would play. They would just constantly lose. You need to have some lucky days. You need to have some days where you actually make your money, make some money, even though overall you're going to lose. Mm. You know, it's the same thing in Hearthstone. If there's no RNG, then the best player always wins. Then it's not fun for the casual player. And you need to have casual players in this game. You need to have those people that are playing once a week, maybe twice, you know? You have to have those people in the game. If they're not in the game, their game falls by the wayside. Alright, we just need to draw an Azoth when we win this game. For justice. Kill you first. Tonight, a tale of terrible tragedy. Eggy. Mind if I roll knee? Reporting for duty. Right, I'd say we got this game pretty well in hand. Two swings. I'm a big bad Ashbringer, and that'll be it. In fact, we'll kill him next turn if he doesn't uh, do anything here. What did he top deck? Feral Spirits? That's something. I think we won. I think we won. First we do this. Nice Justice. Do oh. this. And we do it. GG, brother. Yes, baby! Egg Paladin! Woo! Running circles around foes! Seven and four. Yeah, baby, let's do this. Alright, let's go. <laughs> hey, Dennis, man, you know, I feel you about the RNG, dude. It, it, it can seem like it always goes against you. But the thing is, is like, when RNG goes with you, do you remember it? Not usually. You usually remember the times when it goes against you. I know. That was an awesome game. <laughs> Finally beat a shaman. Finally beat a shaman. I always think, man. I'm like, you know, RNG is going to go in my favor. RNG is going to go against my favor, man. How, think, I think about it this way. Like, how many times has a guy, like, done an Iron Forge portal or done, like, a Firelands portal and gotten a shitty creature? And then you just don't even think about it. Like, it doesn't even enter your mind. Ooh, this is good. I'll keep all of that. Metal Wolf. <laughs> That's awesome. We're climbing. We're climbing. I know, I know. I just like bitching about RNG. I know. <laughs> me too. Me too. But it, it's it's interesting to me about like the psychology of RNG. Ooh. I change our play up here. I think we go Dragon Egg first. And we can Lance Carrier. The reason I say that is because I think 
we tend to be self-centered, I think, as a species. And if we always think only bad things happen to us, then we become very negative. And then when we become very negative, we summon these bad things into being. Wonder... You know, negativity attracts negativity, and positivity attracts positivity. So the more you think, woe is me, woe is me, this is always happening to me, I can't catch a break, I'm always doing bad, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, that's fine, we can move harder now. If I roll need. The more you think that, right, the harder it's going to be. It's not that bad besides maybe Yogg. I thought Yogg is the worst. Yogg is the only one that always fucks me. It's always Yogg. I can never beat hey, Yogg. Give me that. Explosive trap? Alright, let's go Fine with me, buddy. Let's drop the runic egg. Let's yeah, drop the squire. Let's keep going. So, the way I look at it is like, just realize that everybody's going to have their share of good luck, everybody's going to have their share of bad luck, and it's really up to you what you do with that luck. Hmm, if one of these is snipe, I want to drop this Twilight Summoner. But I really want to kill this guy, too. Okay. Okay. What do we do? What do we do? I wonder... If I Lance Carrier... <sighs> what you want? Yes! I fight. Explosive trap. Bear trap. That's fine. Let's drop an egg. That's fine. <laughs> Tonight. Oh, uh, you're totally right, Dennis. You're totally right. No! No! Ah, stupid hunter. Ah, you suck, hunter. You suck. Oh god. Poop on a stick. Uh Shit. Let me think. <sighs> None may right, steal just, our secrets. That's gotta be that trick. I fight. Stop poking me. Uh, I did that just to get the board presence. Get more stuff out there. If we kings something, we still don't break through. <laughs> Gotta love bards. I do love bards. Bards is RNG, right? But it's controlled RNG. You know, you kind of have a choice as to what you put in your deck. <laughs> right? So, that's the kind of RNG I like. You know, I like that sort of RNG. It's the completely uncontrollable, I have no counter for it, there's nothing I can do, it doesn't matter, RNG. That's the RNG that annoys me. Oh shit, I forgot it's his cat trick. God dang it. I fight. That was probably a mistake. That didn't quite what? Hit the mark. I tested for freezing trap, didn't I? Ah oh, shit. Oh, I'm you want. Not to lie. I blew that one. <laughs> I honestly think with Yogg, they didn't test it that often. I don't think they thought how dedicated people were gonna be to making Yogg pass. Um But the other thing I think they did was just like, dude, look at all the highlights we're making, right? I, I honestly think that's what they were thinking. Let's make a crap ton of highlight videos. <sighs> we lost. Three, five, nine, thirteen, sixteen. We're dead. 
I have no time for games. Get in there and fight, maggot! We're dead. Stupid hunters! Ah, stupid hunters! Ah. You suck, Hunter! You suck! Uh, I'm gonna put... Oh, he's trading! Okay! Wait, wait, okay, we're not dead yet. <laughs> I was about to put 7 and 5 on the screen. Not technically dead yet. Still theoretically alive. Okay. Ragnaros! Tyrion's good enough! Let's go, buddy. Your faith in the light. I put my faith in the light. I the believe in the light. What the fuck is the curator doing in a hunter deck? I'm confused. This deck is insane. Ragnaros. Damn it. Where's my rag? This document looks legally binding. Let the pain speak to me. Reporting for duty. Don't test me, child. What oh. is Let us live! Let us live! My faith is in the light! I have faith in the light! Light I faith! Son of a bitch! Hit the 1-1 one -one with the death rattle! Hit the Twilight Summoner! 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 Yes! We won! We won! <laughs> the battle! Yes! For justice! Oh god, the life! Oh, he had lethal too! <laughs> he had lethal! <laughs> he totally had lethal! Because you're all about RNG. Ah! Oh. Mm. oh my god! <laughs> this motherfucker is a rank 5 player? Do some math, bro! Do some math! Oh, I, I'm tempted to add him and let him know he had lethal and missed it. But I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not a dick. Oh, Dennis, what do you think about that game, bro? <laughs> That's what you get for putting the curator in your fucking hunter deck. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Wow, what a game. What a game. Whew. Oh, wow, what a game. Oh, that's... I want to give myself two wins for that one. Shoot. Oh my god, praise you are in Jesus. See? This is why you can't complain about RG no more, man. Right? <laughs> right? He had lethal! He saw the Sylvanas and freaked out. That's what it was. He saw the Sylvanas and freaked out. And he was like, oh, I need to trade around Sylvanas so he doesn't get stolen. But I was like, Sylvanas doesn't have caught, bro. <laughs> Oh god. Wow. Best game of the night. Oh, highlight real game. Hi Let me write that one down, man. The 7 and 4 game. Got it. Oh my god. 
Highlight reel, Moon. Oh. Wow. A part of me wants to end the stream right there. Shit. <laughs> now nah, we gotta go for the win streak game. We gotta go for the win streak game. Let's do this. Whew. Oh, are we just... Yeah. I'm 100% certain it was a Sylvanas. Sylvanas just blew his mind, and he was like, how do I beat this? I need to beat this Sylvanas somehow. I definitely think that's what happened. I think he just, he just didn't know what to do. He saw the Sylvanas, and then immediately was like, I have to trade around it. Instead of, like, counting for lethal. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Desna game is def... Uh, I'm putting the entire stream on YouTube, and then that game in particular is going on the highlight reel for sure. For sure highlight reel, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. That, that one's gonna go viral, man. <laughs> People are gonna watch that shit and be like, what the fuck happened to you? Oh, wow. Whew. Whew, man. I can't, I can't breathe now. What a game. What a game. Uh, let's go loot harder. If I roll me. We, need, we need some cards. He's got a lot of cards. We need cards. <laughs> wow. Wow. Whew. Hey, there's a draw. I'll take that. Spirit Claws A. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My Let's get some value out of these stupid eggs. Go Team Egg! Whoa! Clean it out the Doom Hammer! I'm only gonna have three mana next turn. Alrighty. Barnes! Bring me Tyrion Fordring. A tale of ten. Or his slightly more egg shaped cousin. Into the breach! No Maelstrom Portal! No Maelstrom Portal! Absolutely, give me one second. Ah, he did have Maelstrom Portal. What a dick. <clears throat> he drew that too? Ah, what a bigger dick. Alright, let's go face. And then On let's with trade. The show. Hit the egg, please. Hit the egg. Nice! Moochissimo card drawio por favorio. You like my perfect Spanish? <clears throat> <laughs> Muchas gracias there, Black the Dennis. Much obliged, much obliged. Yeah, I just posted three videos uh, not too long ago from older streams that I had done, and uh, yeah, dude, totally gonna put stuff up now. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're not gonna do it tonight, but I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow, where I'm going to do a review of Whispers the Old Gods with a Karazhan perspective. Basically, what it means is. Um, now that we're fully into the Karazhan meta, I wanted to look back at the Whispers of the Old Gods cards and see which cards have now kind of risen back into prominence that maybe sucked before. Because there's a lot of cards that I think were kind of bad in Whispers of the Old Gods that Karazhan made better. Alrighty, let's figure out what we're going to do here. I can trade... He's got Doomhammer. Yeah. Okay, so the plan is going to be drop Cairn, Abusive Sergeant, 
this one one, trade three one in. Yeah. The Earth Mother. Get in there, fight! Oh, oh, move quickly. Signed in blood. Oh, oh, that keeps the You're welcome. You're welcome for me beating your ass in. No, does he have two doom hammers? No. Okay, good. Thank you. No! Two lava bursts? Ah, oh, come on, man! Ah, oh, that was the win streak game. Ah. Oh. If they say uh, the the letter O at the end of their uh, words too much, then 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 that's how you know. <laughs> ah, that is lame. That is super lame. God dang it! Ah, stupid shamans! I hate shamans. Yeah, yeah. This deck. Does poorly against shamans, to be honest with you. Let me, uh, let's check, let's check the stats. Let's check the stats in my egg deck here. Uh, active deck only. Let me see. Yeah, worst matchup is shaman. Uh, I'm betting a solid 40% against shamans. <clears throat> Which kind of blows. I'm winning 70% of my matches against Druids, 60% of my matches against Mages, two-thirds of my matches against Priests. Wait, what? How am I 58% against Shot? What? That's not... Oh, I crush Warriors. I'm 90% against Warriors. Wow. <sighs> That's really good. What are we playing? Speaking of Warriors... Alright, Loot Hoarder is going to stay, Twilight Summer, let's get rid of the Blessing of Kings. We'll keep this to kill any bigger stuff. Hopefully we get an egg. Nope. X Mastermind. Uh, hmm. I'm okay with pointing out a Loot Hoarder here. Let's get some card draw. Mind if I roll knee? Yeah. Um, 50 50 against Hunters. Oh, I thought it was worse than that. It turns out my worst matchup is actually Paladin. Huh. I'm 33% against Paladin. And. 33% against Rogues. Okay, so it sucks against rogues too. Oh, and I'm, oh no, I take that back. I'm twenty five percent against warlocks. Yeah, this deck sucks against warlocks. <clears throat> what? What? What the? What? Cruel Taskmaster? Who runs this card? Nobody runs this card anymore. So, yeah, this deck tends to be warriors. It it beats druids. Pretty much the the controlly deck. This deck actually destroys control decks, which is very weird. I think it's because it has that mid rangey buffy, you know, outvalue you kind of style to it. <clears throat> Whereas like aggro decks, it just tends to lose to. Let the, pain so the control classes, the druids, the warriors, the priests. Um, <clears throat> they tend to lose to this deck. Uh, yeah. Hadouken! I was thinking maybe of buffing it. But this is too good. Clear is born. I can always buff it again next turn. So yeah, this deck actually tends to beat the control decks, which I think is really odd. It's the aggro decks. I mean, aggro decks are aggro decks. Aggro decks can beat anything. 
know, they just kill you fast enough. Uh, huh. Do we want to buff this? I think so. What kind of deck is this? He's running Cruel Taskmasters. What the Icarus? I wonder. Is this a control warrior? Hmm. Maybe we do buff it and just start applying pressure on him. I could make it a 3-3, but then the axe just kills him. <clears throat> you know what? I think we're just gonna go a little slower here. If we go I wonder. If we do this. This I can always looks keep legal a <clears throat> This also prevents like a rabbit hole of play. Mi espanol es muy bueno. Got it. It's OTK Warrior. Okay, we need him to die and die. So, how do you beat OTK Warrior? You kill him before he kills you. That's the plan. We must kill him first. So I'm pretty much going to play all my stuff, buff as much stuff, get as big of a board presence as I possibly can. That is the plan. He does not have an execute. Okay, he doesn't have an execute. I was like, why would he do that first? Yeah. Draw first, I guess. Alrighty. Let's go. Accolade of Pain. Let the pain speak to me. Let's go. Blessing of Kings. The battle. Go, go. Blessing of Kings. <clears throat> Good thing he's already used an Execute. I think now we can really start pushing board. He's definitely still got the activators for it, and the wild pyro combo is good, but he's also used both commanding shouts. So, that's pretty good for us, too. Hello, Lanteria. How is you doing? It's time for the light to purge me. Kill him before he gets the combo. He's already used an execute, so let's see. He could do some sort of execute combo here. Oh, shield slam! I forgot about shield slam. Does this deck run shield slams? Mind if I roll need? It might not. Nineteen. GG. Well played, brother. Well played. A frag. Die, insect! Die, insect! We'd have won the last game. <laughs> we won that stupid game against the stupid shaman. <sighs> ah, all right. Egg Paladin. Let's do it, baby. Going great. Nine and five. All right, you know what? Let's go game 15. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll go one more. It's almost six o'clock. Stream time's almost over. Um... I think we can do this, guys. We can do this. Let's go, fellas. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Mmm. Let's take it all the way. I think if we win this one, we'll play one more to go to shoot for rank four. Unless this gives us a win streak. I don't know what it is, man. The win streaks work really weird when you get up to past level five. I almost never get up. <laughs> like, it glitches out for some reason. 
what are we playing? We're playing a hunter. Okay, so we need board. So I'm going to keep this consecration. I'm going to keep barns. I'm going to toss this other two. Zinker. Oh, Jesus Christ. Drawing all the late game. WTI. There we go. Come on, Runic Egg. You got to carry us, Runic Egg. You got to carry us. Let's go. Let's go. Abusive Sergeant. Lance Carrier. Abusive Sergeant. Lance Carrier. Come on, baby. No, it's Yoggin Load. Why? Reporting for duty. Okay, it's not Dark Trap. Good. Battle! Meh? Is it Cat Trick? It's gotta be Cat Trick. <clears throat> One's Cat Trick. The other one is probably Snipe. Duken! Bye bye, kitty! That might have been a bit impulsive. <clears throat> Tonight, that might have been a bit impulsive. Okay, that's fine. The battle. Snakes. It has to be snakes. For justice! I think we'll probably barns ourselves after this. Okay, good. We can kill the Azure Drake. So that's nice. Ooh! New plan! Argent Squire, Defender of Argus. Yeah. I like that better. The light protects me. My seal for Argus for justice. Better plan. I like this plan. Now we'll almost certainly have something we can blessing the kings. We can come somewhere. We can farm stuff. We're looking all right. No. Ah, damn you. No! Ah, just, uh, stupid, stupid cloak creatures. Freezing trap? Okay. That's fine. Snipe? If I roll need. Not Snipe. I fight. Oh That's probably explosive or bear. Oh snap. Let's see if that is free. No, it's not freezing. Hey, give me that! It's explosive. Okay. Ah! Or drew another loot order. Let's see. Would I rather have Barnes or would I rather have the Twilight Summoner? Or would I rather have the True Silver? I get smacked there in True Silver. I really don't want to leave the high main out. Mm. Call of the Wild's coming next, right? I fight. For justice. I must move quickly. I 
Well, that reduces the effectiveness of Call of the Wild, but... This is in a really bad board state. What was I saying? Ah! Rag Light Lord? Oh. That's pretty good. Alright, Barnes. Tonight! Rag Light Lord! Rag Light Lord! Jesus Christ. None may steal our secrets. Hello, Tyrion. For justice. Sever my wrath. Well played. Put your faith in the light. Not in my house. <laughs> On with the show. For justice. Oh! I'm putting my faith in the light again. Save me. Save me, light. You are my only hope. My faith is in the light. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Why did you play that? Oh God! Midnight. What the fuck secret is that? Don't test me, child. So you're saying there's a chance! <laughs> Are we dead? Wait, are we dead? Okay, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, hell of a stream. Super fun. Thank you very much, Black the Dentist. Thank you very much, everybody else uh, who's been watching the stream tonight. We're going to end it there. Link to the YouTube channel in the chat. Please subscribe. I uh, just put up a couple of videos. We're definitely going to put up some highlight videos. And uh, also, I'm going to do a Wizards of the, uh, Wizard. Whispers of the Old Gods uh, video from a Karazhan perspective coming up. I don't know, working title.
So keep your eyes peeled for that. And uh, now that I'm back in the... Okay. I was still in the States. Now that I'm back on the West Coast, I will definitely be streaming more. Thank you so much again, guys. Really appreciate it. As always. Have a good night. Rockstar is out of here.